Hello everybody! Watch this video to learn how to move a virtual machine from VirtualBox to VMware, Hyper-V and back. How to convert virtual machines between various hypervisors such as VMware, Hyper-V and VirtualBox. If you have a virtual machine created in Oracle VirtualBox, you can move it to another hypervisor, for example to VMware or Hyper-V server, and bring it back if necessary. As to VirtualBox, it is quite versatile in terms of supported formats and can handle all popular virtual disk types, and it can also convert disks from one format into another. So, it's pretty easy to convert a disk from VirtualBox native format VDI to VHD or VMDK. In today's video, we'll give a detailed coverage of how to move virtual machines from one hypervisor to another. VirtualBox and VMware use different virtual machine formats, but each of them supports the common open virtualization format. Having converted an existing virtual machine into OVF or OVA format, you'll be able to import it into another virtualization tool. Before you start moving a virtual machine, make sure that it is shut down in VirtualBox and not just suspended. If the machine is suspended, start it and click Shutdown. After that, click File and choose Export Appliance. From the list, select the virtual machine you want to move and click Next. In the new window, select the location where to save the appliance file. After that, VirtualBox will begin exporting it into an OVA file, which you will be able to import to VMware later. This is going to take some time depending on the size of the files stored on the virtual machine disk. To import the OVA file you have just created, open VMware, click File, Open, give the path to the recently created file and click Open. In the window that opens, specify the name of the virtual machine and the path where it should be stored. Browse, OK, Import. VirtualBox and VMware are not fully compatible, so you'll probably see an import failed warning, since the file doesn't comply with OVF specifications. However, if you click Retry, the virtual machine should be imported. When this process is over, you can boot the virtual machine in VMware. If you see this kind of error when trying to start the virtual machine and the machine won't boot, try changing some settings. Shut down the machine and go to Virtual Machine Settings. Click on CD DVD tab and remove the disk. Now the virtual machine should boot properly and without any errors. The last step to take is to install the VMware Tools package. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. To move a virtual machine from VMware to VirtualBox, make sure that the virtual machine you want to import is not running or disabled. Otherwise, start the machine and shut it down. In the Programs window, select the virtual machine to be imported and click File – Export to OVF. Choose the folder where you'd like to save the configuration file and click Save. Wait until the export process is complete. After that, open VirtualBox, click File and choose Import Appliance. 
Give the path to the previously created OVF file. Click Open and Next. In the new window, you'll be able to change the location of the future virtual machine. Its hard disks will be imported in VDI format. Click Finish to confirm this action. When the import operation is complete, you can start this virtual machine. If the machine freezes while booting, try to change some of its options by clicking on the Settings button. If you see any notifications saying that something is not properly configured, change the settings. In my case, the graphics controller is misconfigured. To fix the problem, open Display, jump to the Screen tab, and change the graphics controller to the recommended one – VMSVGA, and click OK. Now the virtual machine starts without any issues. Now let's explore how to convert a disk from VDI format for, for VirtualBox into VHD format for Hyper-V. You can do it with the help of the command prompt and the utility called vboxmanager.exe. Alright, for illustration, I'll be using a virtual machine with the Linux operating system, which is stored right here. I will save the converted file to another folder. Launch the command prompt as administrator. And go to the VirtualBox directory. Type the command for conversion. This is how it looks like. The path to the VDI file and the other path where I want the VHD file to be saved. The command will create a copy of the disk in the required format and put it into the specified directory. After that, start Hyper-V on the server where you want to move the virtual machine, create a new one, and specify its name and folder where it should be stored. And then, at the stage where a virtual disk should be created, choose the option Use an existing virtual hard disk and give the path to the file that you have converted before. After that, run the new virtual machine. As you can see, Everything works fine. If you need to move a virtual machine from VMware to Hyper-V, this can be done with the help of special converters. I'll show you how to convert a VMDK virtual hard disk to a VHD hard disk using the program called Starwind. This is a free utility that helps users to transfer a virtual machine disk from one platform to another. You can download it from the official website. After installing and starting the program, you'll be suggested to choose location of the disk image which needs to be converted. After that, you should choose a folder then select location of the destination image, choose the image format and select the options for the image. Now choose where you want to save it and click Convert to start the process. When it's over, click Finish. After that, move the image to the VMware server, run the program and create a new virtual machine.
At this stage of adding the virtual disk, choose the option to use an existing virtual disk and give the path to the recently created VMDK file. With this method, you'll be able to convert disks of various formats to be used with Hyper-V, QEMU, VMware, and other hypervisors. Summing up, we have just explored various ways of moving virtual machines between different platforms. As a result, we managed to move a virtual machine from VirtualBox to VMware, Hyper-V and back, and also from VMware to Hyper-V. This video tutorial can be useful if you are planning to switch to a different virtualization platform, and using this method means you will never lose your virtual machine data. So it's going to work properly on a new server as well. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!